Hey guys, what's up? So I want to explain what does this happens to your renders if you're using the option of um, motion blur activated in your renders. So I'm supposed to make this uh, cloth animation of a pant. It's actually a gene falling on top of this uh, rope, right? So I already bake this animation and as you can see it touches the roof and and then you know everything is moving, everything is quite properly animated so so the problem here is when it comes to the render and um, this is scene is already rendered um, and this is what happens right so as you can see in these little markers that I put here in After Effects um, this kind of a glitch you know it's it's happening all all around the the pan so I'm scrolling this um, really fast so you can see the difference what's going on here as you can see it's not only like this kind of a uh, black um, shadows right but also these um, bright areas that looks like noise so take a look at that that's that's horrible right so the solution for this I uh, will be clicking the object that you want to fix right and going to the object properties and then in the motion blur tab you're gonna deselect the deformation so I already tested by giving it the maximum amount of steps but it doesn't work for some reason it doesn't work it's supposed to to give a better result with more steps and also more memory usage but it doesn't work so instead of using this just deselect this and as I have um, separate parts of the pen, like the pockets and this thing that I, I don't know how it's called in English, and this tag, I had to click every single one of deselect deformation, deselect deformation, and so. So when I deselect the deformation, I could fix the problem. So let me show you in real time. So let's go to, let's say, um, here, here's a big um, glitch here, right? So I'm currently in frame uh, 40A. Um, in Blender um, doesn't match the, the frames with After Effects, so it's always one frame more in, in, in Blender. So if here is 40A, I gotta jump to 49. I don't know why is that, but that happens. So let me go to Solid View here and go to Render. So as you can see, I don't have that glitch anymore. So let me save this image in a fixed frame folder that I created and put it the name of this frame so let's replace the 21 for 49 and save this then when I go to the fixed renders I will copy this and put it back to the whole sequence and copy paste replace that frame and I go back to After Effects then take a look of this glitch when I click and go to load again boom it's solved so I don't have this problem anymore so I can do that with every single frame that has these uh, issues so I can repair every single frame without re-rendering the whole animation. So the only thing here is um, that you can repair that glitch but also you will lose a little bit of the blur effect. Why is that? Because if you go to Google and type what is the foreign the motion blur option in object tab in Blender, it will tell you that you can disable these when the mesh changes topology over time so in this case the mesh does change because well if I go to edit mode I can see that I have uh, a very um, not quite good topology it looks good in the result but it's not that you know correct but when it's animating like the cloud animation and everything is going on here it obviously will deform some of the actual original topology right so when that topology modifications are happening that's when the glitches will occur so if we remove the deformation option here we are also telling the software to hey whenever this mesh modifies don't blur it so we also lose some of the blur effect but not at all because not every single part of the mesh is actually being before by that time so let me show you what I mean with this so I just render another frame right so this is the original deform option activated you can see there's a huge glitch here 
when I switch to slot one, we don't have the glitch, but also I have lost some of the motion blur. So let's see. Motion blur, no motion blur at all. So that's the only thing. You will fix this, but have in mind that you will slightly lose a little bit of the motion blur. Still a good option to fix your render.